Let's go see if we can recover some history out here for the first time in about three months. <laughs> We're not going to find any marbles up here in the country. We're not. Just a bunch of brand new subdivisions. But you know, I'm on vacation. I am. I'm just going to chill and look for the archaic stuff. Yeah, they got high out here for real last night. <laughs> Let's hope they did. Expose some history out here for us. I don't know if I'm going to spend the whole day out here. I might have to if it was like this out here. The grounds are still soft. But like I said, it's been a long time since I recovered anything out here. Any kind of major history. I don't know if they got that high though. Dang. You better believe it. Sky high for real. I can see where they washed that little bit on top of the bank right there. But look at this. Where'd you come from out here? Probably three miles up the creek. <laughs> Never in my exploring sessions out here. Have I ever seen a tree here at this one spot ever? And I come out here at least 25 times a year. Dang. I'll let you know if I find something besides what I have in my right hand. I know, nothing. What's up? One thing's perfect. Yeah. Perfect triangle that no one would have ever noticed. But then of course look at that, it's so white. <laughs> Uh, you better believe I'm keeping that one for the fish tank. Yeah. But after major rainstorms out here, I'll tell you one thing though. I've recovered some very monumental pieces out here in this one ancient creek. Yeah. So let's go ahead and grab the bottle, the jug. And walk around until our heart's content. And our pockets are full of history. And more than that. Here we go again. A different kind of heavenly challenge. A different kind of challenge in heaven. Boulders underneath. Jagged rocks. I don't know what I'm going to kick. What I'm going to step on. Can't see anything. This is going to take a while, fellas. It is. Oops, there we go. Just went up to the knee. <laughs> it's like I'm walking blind. Hmm. Wonder what that means. I'd hate to say it, but I know I missed about three of them. I know I had to. Nearly impossible to see it. Nearly impossible to even pick it up out of the fast current. <laughs> When you see that white, it's time to get hyped. But you definitely gotta, you know, stick your hand down there quick. No pun intended to try to recover it. But yeah, I know it's broken. Hold on. <laughs> I might not be able to set the gallon down. <laughs> Hold on. Let me, let me, let me look. I'm not done yet. Yeah, I just covered this whole zone. Nothing at all. Yeah. Until I found something right there. Mm-hmm. First one of the day. Really. Hold on, I'm still looking, I'm still looking. Yeah, every time I take a step, it's real soft. I go under the ground. Yeah, but check this thing out. I know it's broken. Probably broke last night. Mm-hmm. Got it to the historic pile. What a shame. Was a nice one. Who knows what else I'm going to find today. And you know that's about to get deep right there. That spot is always deep. Perfect out here today. You already know what I'm about to say. What I say 100% of the time, half the time. <laughs> Should have found three by now. Nothing at all. 
I don't know. Should have known. Here's something new I'm going to have to climb under for the next four years. <laughs> Maybe climb over for the next two until it's washed out of here next time. the widest thing out here that is definitely one right there I can see the work on it a mile away is it broken yeah that's something amateur right there I think the whole entire left side is broken off yeah that's amateur for real though I think yeah the whole entire left side is broken off look at that thing rugged new gravel bar never here before is that another one might be one that's been halved yeah that's one right there it's broken like crazy though that's the bottom you see that white it's time to get hype is it hyped or hype i say hype probably doesn't matter grab the jug keep on going two and two in one single spot right there that's wild this is exactly what I want to see today. <laughs> I knew they were going to hold something for us. Heck yeah. More important than you could ever imagine. In many respects. Yeah, this is definitely going to take me a while to go through this thing right here. Yeah, man, you better believe I got to focus on that white thing. Looks like we might have another broken one, mm, unfortunately. Yeah, I see napping on it. They chiseled away at this thing right there. Look at that. Like a deer was biting into it. Maybe a beaver. It's been halved. <laughs> Maybe they just never made this one. Maybe want to add it to the fish tank pile. You know what I'm going to say? Should have found seven by now. <laughs> Got a long way to go in here. Look at the size of this gravel bar. Mm -mm -mm. They washed out a little bit though. You know there's got to be at least two in there that we're probably not going to find. <laughs> Yeah, dang. I don't recognize that consistency anywhere. It's been a minute since I found a piece of pottery out here. Cool. Add it to the pile. Keep on going. Nothing yet. But you know, I have a saying for myself and for you too I'd like to share with you. Mm -hmm. Some of the time they don't give you what you desire, but they'll give you what you need. About 200 feet of nothing. Yeah. Boy. Mm -mm -mm. Best gravel bar coming up. You know they manipulate a whole bunch what out a here. Heartbreaker right there. Jeez. I see it a mile away. Piece of ice. Would have been probably the largest, most significant one out here if it was intact. Crystal clear and it's broken. Dang, what a shame on this one. 
still very historic. Added to the historic pile. Maybe I'll stick it in the freezer or something. <laughs> Ooh, did I miss something? Did I? Oh, well. Still nice. They always do it nice for us out here. But what a shame on this one. Dang. <laughs> oh. Keep on going. Maybe I might find the rest of it later. I'll just super glue it together. I know, you think I found like 20 things right up in here. No, not really, just a couple of broken points. You know, here's one of them. If I can get it to focus, don't know. Yeah, you can see the napping. What a shame, it's broken like 20 times, so nature took it back from the humans it's now just another rock but i'm still going to add it to the you know, historic fish tank pile <laughs> broken white quartz yeah it's all over the place up here but check this out yeah they know how to do their thing to me they do i stumbled right here they pulled me back towards something and i fell on the ground you can see where i fell right there on my elbow because I was too busy looking at what they did earlier. Look at the thing. They jammed this glass bottle. You can't even move the rock. They jammed this glass bottle deep inside of that other log. Look at that thing. That's cool right there. The strength of these fellows out here, these ladies and gentlemen working together. <laughs> you know, I got a long way to go in here. They filled in a four foot hole that used to be here. Man, you guys are wild with this, but yeah, you know, their strength, they pulled me backwards right here and I failed. But there's a reason why they did that to me. You better believe it. Look at that thing. First intact one all day. Who knows the age of this one right here. Check it out. Get a load of this. I definitely had to put the water jug down for this one. You can barely see it. I don't know, that's gotta be one. Gotta be one. Whatever it is, that's ancient. You can barely see it. I can't even see it on the screen. Hold on. Let me get my big head out of the way. That's definitely gotta be one. Or the laws of nature are crazy out here. What the heck is If that's one right here, it's definitely ancient. Look at this thing. I don't know if it's good to go or what. <laughs> in one perspective, it looks like a broken rock. And in the other one, it looks like the real dead holy field. Dang. I don't know if I should add that to the study pile or not. Or the real historic pile. That's wild right here. Man. Oops, my bad. You can't see it in the shadows. Let me go ahead and add it to the pocket. Keep on going up in here. Of course. Found nothing at all up in here except for that one in my left hand. That's wild right there. Look, they had a <laughs> used to be a giant hole here. And they done filled it in, which means I know the waters of eternity have been right here. Filling in the voids of life. Mm -hmm. Who knows what they have piled up in here. Too big for the pocket. <laughs> How fat that thing is. Yeah. Go ahead, say it again.
What do you have to say to us? Is that all you have to say? Perfect. Okay. This is not fair. Not at all. Yes, well, come on now. with your guidance. <laughs> I'll never forget that time when Catherine of Siena deep out in the woods one day at that old crumbled bridge says, do I trust him? Do I have faith in him? Do I know him? You better believe I do. Not even a scratch. Not even a thorn in a shoe. What's up with that, yes one? <laughs> You've given me many thorns in my shoes before. Yeah. Welcome to heaven. <laughs> Look that board. Ah, oh, yeah, I know exactly where they got that from. Heck yes. I know exactly where they got that board from. Thank you, Lord, for wiping that out. Start looking. We're not going to get far out of here, though. We're not. Dang it. I know I'm out here, though. I'm just chilling. That's all. I want to see what kind of... I'm not going to call it damage. I'm just going to call it manipulation. On the north side of the creek through this heavenly part right here. For the next, I'd say, three-fourths of a mile. Happy vacation. <laughs> you guys gotta be kidding me with this. Come on, man. <laughs> That's a little bit too big to fit in the pocket, but I get the idea. I already know. Of course I know. Yeah, but I already looked over here. Not a dang thing. But I know, you're probably telling me to look at something else. Maybe I should get on Google Earth and try to figure out what direction you're pointing into.
Aqui, ó. Uhum. Wonder how many bowls you have to smoke to get that high. Don't know. Yeah. How's it going, guys? I know you guys are always doing good out here. Always. Let me set the famous drug down right quick. It's going to end up in the... Oops. <laughs> Fragile. <laughs> Ooh, the balance of nature. <laughs> Heck yeah. Oops. Not for the ants. <laughs> Don't let me lose that perspective. Yeah. Oh, well, I lost one of them. I already know you're always watching. You always tell me you're watching. So play balance. Looks like somebody was wiped out. I recognize that board anywhere. I don't know if I'm gonna make it that far though. I don't. They have high grass. It's probably about nine feet high right here. <laughs> I'm still looking for that one perfect artifact for today. You probably already found it. No biggie. them Whoa. best find in the past few hours what the pink moonstone I guess that's what that is dang don't break it Da Vinci add it to the pile the rock collection geology collection No, I'm not the boss. No. Uh -uh. You guys have been here for a minute. Yeah. Of course I'm going to leave you here. Beautiful.
Talk about landscaping. Dang, fellas. <laughs> yeah, I found a couple of pieces in here. Man, what's this? Yeah, I know. Plastic bag. Poopy bag for the doggies. Oh, yeah. She's tearing off. Yeah. You guys clean this out pretty good. You did. I'm taking this back with me. Might, you know, give me some ideas for some kind of art. Look at that. The colors and tones. Everything inside of it. That's cool. All right. I wonder if there's anything else up in here. You guys watch this out hardcore out here. <laughs> well, unfortunately, you brought down a tree of life. A river of birds. Probably only about 12 years old. Maybe less than that. You guys got anything else out here? I think it's my turning point. Balance. Yeah. Still soft. I bet that's going to be the only piece I'm going to recover today. Well, perfect piece it is. Ancient piece. How old? Is the stain in my right hand that I just recovered? I'd say at least six. It's intact. Look at the most perfect thing we recovered all day today. Unbroken. Look how thick that joker is, though. Maybe it's a ultimate preform. Maybe it was in its last stages. And they forgot to whack off the top. Well, the top in that perspective. Look at that thing. Maybe they just used it as is. Why do they always have to say the best for last? I don't understand that concept. I know there's still plenty of time left, but I'm, I'm tired of tomorrow's kayak day on my vacation. That one's beautiful. No, I'm not going to touch it. I want to see what this thing is next to it. Don't float away. Please don't. Don't float away. I have an idea for you. Maybe check this out. A single leaf in the middle. Boy, am I ever going to have a good time looking at this thing right here. Humongous gravel bore in front of us. The one I'm talking about that one, I'm talking about this one up here. I come out here about twice a year. And nothing's manipulated. Find nothing at all. But first off, let's do something nice. Da Vinci style. Sorry about that.
Same masterpiece, different time. How can you never get pulled out of here? Because you're perfect. Da Vinci style. After all the floods, you still stand here. If only I could take you back to my backyard. See you guys back at the Adventure Studio. I'll see what we recovered today. Merry Christmas. <laughs> it's Christmas every day in Da Vinci's world. You better believe it is. <laughs> Ooh, there goes another soul. Heck yeah, perfect. Mm. I'm starting to learn over time that it helps out to go to two different places in one single day. If I can meet the challenge, yeah, the challenge of time, the challenge of distance. Let me go ahead and pull up the Da Vinci rocking chair as always. Have a seat. <laughs> You're laughing at half the items on this you know, studio desk of mine, this countertop, whatever you want to call it, 1940s dining room table. <laughs> yeah. All right. A bunch of garbage at the top and a bunch of history at the bottom, but it should be flip flops. I think I'll start doing that from now on if I can ever remember that. Yeah. The better pieces on the top shelf. You can see everything. I know you're waiting to see my face. All you got to do is look at the old paintings and the old drawings. <laughs> That's it. Ooh, abstract for real. You can see backwards and forwards at the same time. Behind it and behind it. <laughs> if only you knew my mind. Look at that thing right there. Ooh, you see a little bit of my, my, my head. That's uh, going bald at the moment in this time in history. Dang. I don't know if I should hang on to these or what. Yeah, what are these called? I'm not going to show you. You might be able to decode where I got these from, where I found these. In the middle of the wilderness. You better believe. Cool. All right. Who's next? All right. Got the perfect marbles. Yeah, maybe just one Google Earth marble in this stash right here. Look at that. Google Earth marble. A different kind. Not the real deal holy field, but yeah. Got the earth tones in it. The ocean. The land. The sky, everything. Got a shooter marble. All right, no big deal. That one single marble that we found out there. A different kind, cobalt blue. Dang. Not going to be breaking out the hammer for that one, on that one. But uh, where's the Google Earth marble at? I think it's this one. Yeah, another one. Heck yeah. All right, jadeite for real. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. Jadeite for real, though. Flawless. Like it was dropped yesterday. Not even a scratch on it. 
makes me wonder. Maybe this was protected in the, the land of time. The lands, the sands. Not the sand, but the, the soils. The soft soils of time. And it could be over 75 years old. I don't know yet. There's no way to freaking tell on this one. But of course, if it was in sand all this time, it would look exactly like these rubbed down things right here. All ashy and everything. Dang, look at that thing. Cool. <laughs> piece of different, <laughs> different piece of garbage here. Masonry came from, uh, I know exactly where this came from. I do, I do. I know exactly where this came from. You know, I'm a man who loves to record everything. No matter if it's 97 years ago, 65 years ago, 180 years ago, 8,000 years ago. This looks like a part of a roadway. It does. Back in the old days, before they paved the roads, some of the side roads were created. In the chemistry of what you're looking at. With the chemistry of what you're looking at. Excuse me, I'm too busy studying this thing. I'll never forget the times when I was traveling and exploring all over the metro location and coming across these one little sections of roadways deep inside different locations and want to know why the side roads were constructed of something that looked exactly like this colors of the lady all right you better believe that's a monumental piece add that to the pile perfect geometries moving along crock pottery Probably from 1859. You better believe it. All right, pre Civil War. I'm talking too fast. <laughs> you know, fast and slow at the same time. You can't beat this thing right here. Heck yeah. All right. What about this? The second place we went to today. Perfect triangle. I'm always looking for these things. Yes, indeed. All right, what's next? What the heck is this, Metatron? You better believe I'm always going to pick these things up because it's part of who I am. But you broke it off something. You did, in the pocket. You did, you broke it off in the pocket. And I've been spending about one hour trying to piece it back together again. I was. I can't get it. I can't get it, folks. I can't do it. I cannot get the puzzle back together again. And it was intact when I first found it. You saw it on video. You talk about being depressed. That thing was fabulous. It looked something like that. It did. And I can't do it. I can't do it right now. The laws of nature, they did something to it. I don't know what it is. Maybe I did something to it. All right. Perfect quartz. Add to the fish tank for real. Moving along. Running out of time. Nearly perfect circle. I don't even know why I picked it up. <laughs> <laughs> Move the marble along <laughs> to the side over here. Where's the stuff from 10,000 years ago? All right, pottery, no design on it. Yeah, all right. You always have to slow down for the major history, though. I'm not talking about some distributor cap that you find in the creek that came from some truck from 1949. <laughs> I'm talking about this. Looks like a flowing hair design right there. Where the hair of the lady scraped against the side right here. If only it could last that long. I know. Going through that time trip of mine. Look at that design. Cool. At least 1,311 years on this one. Trust me, I think I might know. All right. A moment of silence. For things that are so off the wall, I have no idea where to start. A lot of them are just fakes. A few of them are just like, I don't even know. Things that the state of Georgia probably never even seen before. Well, at least one or two. 
But yeah, let me go ahead and get this one out of the way. It looks like a fake. It probably is. Look at that thing. It probably was a point back 7,910 years ago. They knew exactly what they had on this. It's just been worn down with time. That's it. Yeah. Dang. Got to be some kind of ancient point. Add it to the, you know, the uh, authentic study pile is what I call it. The study stash. Okay. Up next. I have no idea. Maybe I'll just add it to the haft quartz fish tank pile. That's what that is. Okay. <laughs> Same thing here. What the heck is that thing? It looks like something, but it also looks like many other things that we've collected in the past. And I'm talking about many of them. Add it to the uh, fish tank pile right there. Mm -hmm. Throw the flare in there. Yeah. Okay. Magic. Same thing here. I thought it was some kind of bone scraper, meat scraper. Not a hot scraper because it's not flat enough. It's got that curve on it. They were scraping the bones, whatever it may be. Maybe it might be just uh, broken by the devil, the Grim Reaper, the one who is death. That thing that he carries around, it carries around. To slice the life out of everything. Yeah. But okay. That's on a different level of Metatron understanding and knowledge. Okay. Authentic point. Dang. In our second location. If only the tip was there. It's still 5,210 years old on that. Same thing here. Look at that ancient piece right there. Preformed like crazy. And they even still try to use it. Dang. All right. I don't know. For some reason, the lights are dimming a little bit. I don't understand that. Maybe it's the iPhone dying. Yeah. Okay. The bottom one. Throw it to the pile. <laughs> yeah. You already know the last piece we found today. What do you call this thing? Something scraper? I cannot remember the word right now. I research it every other day. <laughs> yeah. What do you call that knife thing or whatever? That humongous piece. 8,810 years old on this one. I know that for a fact. Yeah. Look at the napping on this humongous masterpiece. This ancient historical item right here. I was going through a stretch where I wasn't recovering anything at all. Until I was out there talking to Vinci style. And then they let me have one. They drew my curiosities to see something so white in the waters. In that one single moment. That I crapped my drawers. I did. Just kidding. Oh, be careful with that. All right. Amateur piece right here. The bottom. Top is completely missing. Yeah. All right. Who's next? Another authentic piece right here. Look at that. Dang. I'd say 6,209 years old on this one. The bottom left is broken. Probably about a thousand years ago. But still, no big deal. Single faced. Haft. At least the tip is still there. Yeah. Means it's probably, uh, you know, wasn't successful at killing nature. All right. What's next? Bam. <laughs> Broken. The last two pieces, of course. Oh, boy, my videos always get long. They, they do. Just like something else. <laughs> you guys crazy. Hell, yeah. Check out these things right here. I'm not going to say it's the first in my book, in my long book, that is, but this piece. Yeah, I have a lot of things to give away. I do. But I try to study their human behavior from the things I find and recover. 
as quickly and slowly as possible. But dang, fellas. Probably about 9,000, 10,000 years on this one. And it is still intact. It's probably the most complete preform you've ever seen before in the state of Georgia. Look at that. They left the top incomplete. They did. What the heck made them stop? An asteroid? Cousin Betty burning down the forest? <laughs> a deer running by? <laughs> Maybe their child fell out of a stroller. I don't know. Maybe they saw a big fish and wanted to use one, something smaller, like one of their nets or something. Maybe Sister Sarah was, you know, making a pot the wrong way when the ultimate craftsman of ancient times out there at that one single point in time stopped something. But I have no idea. I don't look at that thing. Tipping on about 10,000. You better believe it. Early archaic. Fully intact. Almost complete. Preformed. Which lets you know that there is a significant historical area around the suburbs that will, you know, replace what you see here. The time of the old man. We were lucky to recover this thing. We were. Look at that thing, though. But it made Da Vinci think in several different dimensions. Like I always do. Yeah. You have a perfect point in this perspective? You do? Massive. Almost brand new. Right off the lot. The wind wheels are still black. <laughs> no dirt. Nothing at all. Yeah, even the seats are still covered in plastic. Yeah, but it made me think. Maybe they were thinking Da Vinci style. What if they designed a point that we are yet to even discover? Look at this thing. What a bummer, fellas. Dang. Is that the bottom <laughs> or the top? <laughs> if that's the bottom, we screwed up real, you know, hardcore. But if that's the top, we still screwed up hardcore. <laughs> Almost crystal clear. It looks just like these glass lamps right here. Kind of. All right. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah, that's got, I don't know, bottom or top. But the entire top is missing. But the entire bottom is missing. Dang. All right. Keep on moving. I'll see you guys in the next adventure. Ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you tune in. Who knows where I'm going to recover next time. Tomorrow. You know it's going to hold many magnificent stories. Yeah. Everything in between, of course. From beginning to beginning. As always. <laughs>